you gotta know a day. Today we move forward in time to talk about Thomas Hunt Morgan, who won the Nobel Prize in 1933 for studying genetic inheritance. Specifically, he used this little guy, the uh, fruit fly, specifically the species Drosophila melanogaster. In fact, he was so famous for this that there was a room at Columbia just called the Fly Room. That's right. In the background, you can see bananas. Where do you think he got his flies from? And each of these little bottles here uh, contains a whole bunch of little fr fruit flies breeding. Why are fruit flies important for studying genetic inheritance? Well, what they figured out is that sometimes those fruit flies got mutations. They became mutants. So, uh, you know, sometimes the body, this is the normal fruit fly body, uh, the wild type, but sometimes they're black and sometimes their wings, instead of being normal, were vestigial, these little guys here. So they wanted to figure out how often are genes inherited together. So if you mate these two together, you would expect, hey, um, you know, some of the, the children are going to be black vestigial, like this parent, the man. Uh, some of them are going to be wild type, like the mom. But they found that sometimes you get gray bodies with these vestigial wings. And sometimes you get black bodies with normal wings. And they figured, well, that must be at a chromosomal level, because they understood that these came from chromosomes, that there was crossing over. Basically, at the chromosome level, some of the genetic material is getting exchanged. Instead of being a full dad chromosome and a full mom chromosome, at the end you get chromosomes that are a little bit, mostly dad with a little bit of mom, and mostly mom with a little bit of dad. In fact, they named a unit after him, the centimorgan, uh, because what they found is the closer the... Uh, alleles are, the closer the genes for each of these mutations is, the less often you get those crossing over events, the less often you get the, the combination uh, phenotypes of uh, flies. Um, so if you, if you look at how often you get the, the recombinants, the ones that, that have a little bit of this and a little bit of that, you can find out how close those genes are on a chromosome. And that unit, how close they are, is the Santa Morgan. So Thomas Hunt Morgan used fruit flies, figured out crossing over in his crazy fly room, um, and looked at how often genes are inherited together.